and this is Logan out once again on the New Forest for another walk. Thanks for joining us. Today we're at a place called Cadman's Pool which is just uh, to the south of the little hamlet or village of Fritham uh, which is just to the north of the A31. Now today we're going to be doing a five mile circular route starting and finishing here at the pool basically to the north of the site taking in some heathland, woodland, a couple of ponds and hopefully the site of a medieval hunting lodge keep our fingers crossed there and who knows we might come across some other interesting things along the way so do join us well, I mentioned we're at Cadman's Pool. Let me show it to you. And you can see, there it is. It's actually um, a man-made pool uh, dug out by a chap called Arthur Cadman, who was the deputy surveyor of the New Forest ooh, back in the 1960s. And he did it just to perfect the ambience of the place. And as you can see, there's a small island in the middle a very good breeding ground for ducks and Canadian geese. Now at one stage this was one of just three ponds in the New Forest where you could get um, day tickets to uh, fish. Um, I know at one stage there were a lot of carp in here but uh, quite recently all the fish were removed. I think Natural England were keen to um, remove carp for the damage that they did to the bottom of pools and ponds. Indeed, I see there's a no fishing sign there now. But uh, it's certainly lovely and peaceful. The ducks seem to enjoy it. Quite a, a, a green colour to the water. Um, we have had a bit of rain recently, and I'm guessing perhaps some of the, the sand and gravel might have washed in. Who knows? Right, let's kick on. Well, I've parked my car at the uh, Forestry Commission car park at Cadman Pool, literally a, a couple of yards away from the pool itself. I should point out we're right on the edge of the site that was once RAF Stony Cross, a, uh, an airfield that was in existence during World War II. I won't go into any great detail on that because I have done a separate video on that. I'll put uh, the link on that towards the end. But just by the car park, there are still the odd uh, remains or two for some of the World War II buildings. In fact, if I just turn the camera around here, here we can see some remains and there we go. A bit of metal and some concrete. And this must have been some sort of building. This is right on the uh, edge by close to one of the dispersal sites and there you can see the pond through the trees and the distance there. All right well, we're gonna kick off by initially heading uh, westbound. I'll just have a quick look <laughs> say goodbye to the the ducks and the, the geese and the old moor hen or two. <laughs> I am, I'm going to keep my fingers crossed with the weather today. It's the beginning of June. We've just come through a very, very hot and dry spell. There's the odd cloud in the sky. I think it's going to be one of those days where there's going to be a mixture of um, uh, sunshine one minute and then a bit cloudy the next. But uh, I think it's going to be dry. That's the important thing. It's a good temperature for walking anyway. We're now heading north into Anse's Wood. I've just spent the last 10 minutes trying to find an earthwork that shows on the map. I believe it's a, a medieval bee garden. It's not very big, it's sort of rectangular shaped. Uh, they would have um, put their beehives inside this uh, sort of enclosed earthwork to protect them. Uh, the bees, of course, would have made use of the the nectar from the uh, heather nearby. But can I find it? No. Lots of squirrels, but no earthworks. So, shall we kick on? Yes, it's getting a bit cold. There's a bit of a breeze. It's only about 10 or 12 degrees. I can just go out and get away with him not wearing his fleece today. Thank you. 
Oh, and here we are. Look at these. Gosh, look at this one down here. That magnificent eye. I wish I could tell you what this was, but I'm not an expert. I think these are what they call oh, artist fungi. I know they, in the old days they used to use these and um, use a sharp instrument underneath and uh, it, when it would uh, dry you'd leave a pattern. But this is their typical environment just living off uh, dead and rotting wood as you can see. Well we're making our way eastwards through this wood and we come across some quite stunning beech trees. I just turn around and that is a typical example there. And if I just turn around a little bit further, you might be able to see it. It's quite dark in here, I know, but there's a, a bank, boundary bank just over here. And this is the um, South Bentley enclosure, which is possibly the oldest surviving enclosure in the New Forest. And indeed, it might be the oldest planted oak wood in uh, the whole of the UK and possibly even Western Europe. Some of the oaks in there were were acorns in the 1700s but part of the enclosure was cleared and planted with Douglas firs in the 1960s but the process was halted by the Minister for Agriculture and the oaks survived unlike those in the neighbouring North Bentley enclosure which were completely replaced. <laughs> now emerged from the wood and this is probably our most easterly part of our route and in the far distance the house there that's the the most southerly house on the outskirts of the little village of Fritham. So I'm just going to cross this bridge and start heading north uh, alongside uh, Queen North Wood. Uh, well, just about to get out of Queen North Wood Puffy and panting because it's an uphill section. <laughs> oh, look at that magnificent oak tree. Isn't that a beauty? Oh. Right. Now we're shortly going to come out into the vast open expanse that is uh, Fritham Plain, which is uh, quite a difference in the landscape now and the sun's coming out in all its glory as well. We're now up on uh, Fritham Plain, quite exposed, a bit of a, a wind out here at the moment, just by a natural spring. And I've just noticed those little white wild flowers in the distance. I can't get too much closer because uh, it's, it's, it's so boggy out there. But these, I think these are common cotton grass. I know that it grows on wet heathland and bog and it starts to flower in May and June with this distinctive white bristle-like seed head that resembles tufts of cotton. Uh, this is our second pond of the day, Green Pond. It doesn't actually appear on any 1940s map of uh, the area so I'm guessing it's been specifically dug out for livestock although as you can see it's not particularly full at the moment. We've not had that much rainfall recently and it's not fed by a stream or a spring but fortunately there is a spring as we've just seen a few yards from here. Well, we're now making our way west along the cycle track that sort of uh, is on the ridge of uh, Fritham Plain. Just passing a few locals as we go by. Oh. 
Is that appetizing? <laughs> so we're just going to come up to Slowden Wood. When we get there, the cycle track will veer off to the right and we'll carry on into the wood itself. Okay, we're just about to head into the Slowden enclosure. And what I'm going to try and find is the site of a medieval hunting lodge. There's a few of these floating around the forest. They were built in the times of uh, Edward III and they were basically temporary accommodation for royalty and nobility while they were out hunting. The buildings themselves would have been wooden with perhaps slate roofs, so there's nothing left of those, but they did have sort of rectangular banks and ditches, mainly really to keep out thieves and uh, vagabonds. Indeed, if you look on a map, you can see it's quite clearly marked out. Whether we'll find it, of course, is another thing altogether. It shows on the map as the churchyard. Now, in the past, unexplained earthworks were often called churches and the mistaken belief that William the Conqueror destroyed whole villages, including churches, to make space for his hunting area. But that wasn't true. Although, interesting, there are a lot of yew trees in there. OK, let's head on in and see if we can find it. It will be a little bit like looking for a needle in the haystack, but we'll give it a go. Well, these two look as though they're getting on well together, don't they? We've got a holly tree with its arm round a yew tree. <laughs> right, well, we're continuing through Slowden enclosure. Still trying to find this uh, medieval hunting lodge earthworks. Slowden enclosure was originally established in 1755 and then re-enclosed in 1864. It's about 122 acres in total. There's some pretty ancient oak trees and beech trees in here. And uh, oh, there's absolutely loads and loads of foxgloves still out. Again, this is their ideal place around here. And of course the bracken now beginning to uh, pop up in any area that's not covered. And again, more foxgloves everywhere with their glorious purple. And look, there's more foxgloves in the distance there. Plenty of foxgloves, but where is this hunting lodge? Come on, Logan, find it for me. Ha ha! I think I found it. There's a definite straight bank, and it's not a boundary bank, with a little ditch on one side. It's very dark in here, so hopefully this will come across. Yeah, this is a corner coming up. And there's loads of uh, fern and bracken, but there's a definite ditch that goes round here. It's probably only, the well, bank's only going to be a couple of foot high if that. And then, yeah, moving along through here, another dead straight bank with a ditch on one side. And I was looking for something, a rectangular shape of about 37, 39 metres long. And that's definitely what this is. Ah, uh, there we go. Churchyard, the medieval hunting lodge has been bagged. Now, how do I get out of here? Well, I'm really chuffed that I found that. Don't ask me to find it again because I've no idea <laughs> how I did it. Okay, now if you look on that map, um, you also see a, a much larger oval shaped enclosure marked. And I have found that, although that was quite tricky because it's not very tall. It's only about, what, two foot high and now covered in bracken. And uh, well, <laughs> The, the, the famous New Forest historian Edward Sumner reckoned that it might have been an ancient stock enclosure. 
although recent historians suggest it, it was possibly a medieval coppice that's basically enclosed woodland and then rented out by the crown for coppicing but whatever it is it's incredibly difficult to see on the ground and this is only as I say a, a section of it okay we're now heading south uh, and heading out of Slowden enclosure well, starting to get some uh, smashing views to the west just coming out of uh, Slowden enclosure and that hill there is Ragged Boys Hill Boys might be a corruption of the French word bois meaning wood so uh, ragged wood and then this little track is where we're going down to that cottage in the far distance I've now crossed over this stream or mini river I suppose called Dockens Water we followed this early on actually when we were heading east and this eventually flows into the river Avon to the west of here and the white building over there is an old forest keepers lodge so now we're on the homeward leg now we're just going to enter Holly Hatch enclosure. Well, we're now heading along a, a track that's going to take us through the Holly Hatch enclosure. Quite an old enclosure, it was um, established in 1808, so some pretty ancient trees here. And this will eventually take us out onto Ocknell Plain, and then it won't be far back to the uh, car park at uh, Cadman's Pool. The sun is now peeping through the crowds again. Been a lovely walk and you know I know what we've done five miles I've lost track of time we've not met one single person we've had it to ourselves and uh, very very lucky when you consider that this is June okay it's 10 o'clock in the morning on a Friday it just shows there are parts of the forest but if you know where to look, you can get a lot of peace and quiet. Thank you very much. Well, folks, we've come to the end of our walk. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up or a like and do make a comment. And if you haven't already done so, please do subscribe. That way, hopefully, you'll be able to join us for another walk sometime in the future. We've had a super walk today. I'm so pleased that I eventually found that uh, those earthworks deep, deep in that wood. So until we meet again, thanks for watching and cheerio. Mm -hmm.